The Psychology of Money Timeless Lessons on Wealth, Greed and Happiness A book written by an author called Morgan Hossa The Greatest Show on Earth That's where we're starting from to read There's a quote saying A genius is the man who can do the average thing when everyone else around him is losing his mind. Napoleon The world is full of obvious things which nobody by any chance ever observes. Sherlock Holmes I spent my college years working as a valet at a nice hotel in Los Angeles. One frequent guest was a technology executive. He was a genius, having designed and patented a key component in Wi-Fi routers in 20s. He had started and sold several companies. He was widely successful. He also had a relationship with money I would describe as a mix of insecurity and childish stupidity. He carried a stack of hundred dollar bills several inches thick. He showed it to everyone who wanted to see it and many who didn't. He bragged openly and loudly about his wealth, often well drunk and always a purpose of nothing. One day, he handed one of the colleagues several thousand dollars of cash and said, Go to the jewelry store down the street and get me a few one thousand dollar gold coins. An hour later, gold coins in hand, the tech executive and his buddies gathered around by the dock overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Then then, they proceeded to throw the coins into the sea, skipping them like rocks, cackling as they argued who's went farthest, just for fun. Days later, he shattered a lamp in the hotel's restaurant. A manager told him it was a $500 lamp and would have to replace it. You want $500? The executive asked incredulously, while pulling a brick of cash from his pocket and handed it to the manager. Here's $500,000. Now get out of my face and don't you ever insult me like that again. You may wonder how long this behavior could last. And the answer was not long. I learned years later that he went broke. The premise of his book is that doing well with money has a little to do with how smart you are and a lot to do with how you behave. And behavior is hard to teach. Even to the really smart people, a genius who loses control of their emotions can be a financial disaster. The opposite is also true. Ordinary folks with no financial education can be wealthy if they have a handful of behavior skills that have nothing to do with formal measures of intelligence. My favorite Wikipedia entry begins. Ronald James Red was an American philanthropist, investor, janitor, and gas station attendant. Ronald Red was born in rural Vermont. He was the first person in his family to graduate high school, made all the more impressive by the fact that he hitchhiked to campus each day. For those who knew Ronald Red, there wasn't much else worth mentioning. His life was about as low-key as they come. Red fixed cars at the gas station for 25 years and swept floors at Jesse Penny for 17 years. He bought a two-bedroom house for $12,000 at age 38 and lived there for the rest of his life. 
he was widowed at age 50 and never remarried. A friend recalled that his main hobby was chopping firewood. Red died in 2014, aged 92, which is when the humble rural janitor made international headlines. 2,813,503 Americans died in 2014. Fewer than 4,000 of them had a net worth of $8 million when they passed away. Ronald Red was one of them.